hope we're all doing okay. Liverpool take advantage in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final with a 2-1 win courtesy of goals from Cody Gakpo and a deflected effort from Curtis Jones to turn the tide in quite quick succession. It means it cancels out Willian's first half goal, which did ruffle a few feathers in that Liverpool side, but an impressive performance from Connor Bradley, as well as a few standout names. As soon as Liverpool started to flood on the attacking options, those defensive options started to pay dividends then when we got two goals to put ourselves ahead into the second leg. Of course, Craven Cottage will be bouncing for that second leg. And of course, Fulham still have uh, an element of um, a chance in this in this tie to get something and to go for the final. But at the moment, after the two games that happened, Middlesbrough, Chelsea last night of Liverpool, Fulham, at this moment in time, Middlesbrough will take on Liverpool at Wembley late February. But... Look, Liverpool had to make, um, you know, kind of had to dig deep in this game. They had to dig deep. It was a slight bit of complacency. When you make a few changes, Virgil van Dijk was sleeping for that first goal. He comes back into the mix after an illness to, which ruled him out of that game against Arsenal. We were a bit complacent in that first half in particular. But second half, we tweaked a few things. Um, there was a bit more of an urgency about us uh, towards that uh, an hour mark. We started to warm up then and as soon as we got momentum and we were able to generate opportunities, it was only really a matter of time before we were going to break the deadlock. Some brilliant saves there by Bernd Leno. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are of the whole game. What was your reflection of Liverpool's win? And it puts us in good stead because, of course, now is a little bit of a winter break. We return on the 21st, I think it is, against Bournemouth. So for the 10 or so days uh, that we have, um, it's obviously good for the boys to end this on a good note and get that win. Had to obviously dig deep, as I say. Uh, but, of course, you know, you're in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. You know, Fulham are there on a meritocracy level. They're coming in because uh, they play this Liverpool side, a side that they did play at the start of December and did take to the very, very last uh, moments where Trent Alexander-Arnold did score um, that winner. But, look, I think, um, you know, we kind of dealt with those circumstances very well and... Uh, we were able to to get that win. Um, you know, I think there's nothing worse than really, you know, going into that second leg if if we're one goal down, losing at home, which did look a possibility as time um, continued to tick. But um, yeah, it was it was really good play by Liverpool, and I thought two one is arguably better than three one when you look at it because. If you're going in 3-1, there's that element of complacency, especially we've seen in that first half. If Liverpool turn up that complacent at Craven Cottage having had a 3-1 lead, you'd have to look and contemplate that, you know, Fulham had to peg a goal back, then it, it, it leaves the tie in balance and then, you know, you're obviously on the back foot then. But um, let's break down the goals. Um, obviously, Curtis Jones uh, in that first effort, a uh, bit of a deflected effort, but a um, bit of fortune, element of fortune assigned with the goal, but... It was a good finish, um, good play by Jota actually, um, you know, I think in the lead up to the second goal. But, you know, what was evident that it was a physical battle in that first half. And, you know, Curtis Jones got on the end of that shot, kind of rejuvenated that atmosphere, got the players back on site. And uh, shortly after, it was a lovely goal, the, be the best of the bunch, um, because Cody Gakbo rolled it in off a of Darwin Nunes cross. And it definitely, Darwin Nunes did inject that energy. And this is what we're loving to see from Darwin Nunes, that intuition. When he comes on, he has that ability to change the game in a, in a sense that he gets into good positions. And I think he does invite a lot of criticism because times he doesn't quite... He overthinks a certain few situations. If he used his intuition a little bit more, um, you know, you profit off those. But he didn't. He was very instinctive today. And that paid off because he was creating danger. He was putting in the danger zone. And then Cody Gakbo rolled it in from close range. But brilliant uh, build-up play from Jota in the build-up, has to be said. Brave, won the 50-50s, allowed Liverpool to build on that attack and then... Uh, Perfectly finished off there by Cody Gakbo. But yeah, obviously, brilliant performance then by Connor Bradley as well. Um, to obviously score, um, not score, but uh, play as well as he did. Um, after coming in, you know, it's obviously difficult when you have Trent Alexander Arnold, such an established name, the scouser in the team, one of the you know, one of the leaders in the leadership team in the Liverpool squad. 
when you're coming in, for, especially as a youngster, it's inevitably going to be difficult. Uh, but Conor Bradley didn't look out of place. He was physically very strong. Um, you know, a few times he was getting targeted, but over on the whole, he dealt with that very well. And then on the front foot, then he was able to cause problems, draw free kicks, draw fouls, and able to profit off those, but with a good delivery then, uh, which is what, what you want. And of course, you know, he's going to be involved in the next two or three games now for Liverpool as well. That's a certainty, unless he gets injured, of course. But um, I'm very happy from what I've seen today, and hopefully he can kind of utilise this game play at the same sort of level uh, and we'll be absolutely fine um, but look definitely an element of complacency but good that we can get a little bit of a break a little you know not too long that you know we'll lo lose that match sharpness but enough time for the boys to actually have a break from what has been a very congested uh, part of the season but um, next up is Bournemouth away will be difficult um, but then uh, bef before then uh, a Carabao Cup game against uh, Fulham uh, Craven Cottage. So uh, after half time in the tie, Liverpool are two one up. Uh, how do you rank and grade the chances of Liverpool and Fulham respectively? And uh, equally, who do you think their opponents will be in the final? Middlesbrough or Chelsea? Um, but yeah, both home teams will have a lot to do. But uh, yeah, as for today's video, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you did enjoy the video, if you did enjoy the football, make sure you drop a like on this video and get involved in the comments what your thoughts and reflections were of today's game. I'll see you all very soon. Take care and I'll peace out.